Huh? Here was all this fresh snow just itching to be played with. But it was too deep for George. Hey, George! <laughs> Guess the city kid wouldn't have seen cross-country skis before. It's the most fun way to travel on deep snow. I've got an old pair of skis you can have. Want to come with me? <laughs> this was fun. George took to skiing like... like a monkey to skiing. Think you can handle that big hill? <laughs> with skis on, George could go anywhere there was snow. <laughs> or so he thought. a steep hill straight on like that, George. You got it. Zigzag it. When you stop, angle your skis like this so you don't slide back down. <laughs> yeah, that's it. George, that's the way to do it. George had a great view up here. He could see houses and farms. <laughs> and there was his house. <laughs> and then he thought he'd better head home right now because the man was making the last of the cocoa. And no one can resist the drink-me-now power of cocoa. Not even the man with the yellow hat. I wonder what that could be. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick look around. You wait here. <laughs> this wasn't good. He was getting even further from home. It was all downhill from here. He figured he'd be home in seconds. <laughs> there had to be a way to get that ski. Well, one ski was better than none. That was awesome! George had toys for summer and toys for snow. But there were no toys for just playing cold. There weren't even birds to watch. But even the dullest monkey day could be saved by a visit with bunnies. <laughs> hutch was empty. There must have been a big bunny breakout. <laughs> What's wrong, George? <laughs> oh, are you looking for the bunnies? Ah, uh -huh. oh, don't worry. I brought them in out of the cold. Uh, I'm glad you're here. We have to go to my grandmother. 
Can you do me a favor while I'm gone? George knew Bill was going to ask him to take care of the bunnies. It's something he'd dreamed about. George would pick only videos that bunnies liked and games they could win and show them his best bunny picture books. I'm taking the bunnies to stay at my grandmother's house for the rest of the winter. <laughs> well, it's too cold out and my folks won't let me keep them in the house. Grandma has a warm place they can spend the entire winter. <laughs> So, could you do me a favor and put out some nuts and seeds for that jumpy squirrel every day? Uh, I don't want him to go hungry if the ground gets too cold and hard and he can't find food. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, George! <laughs> George remembered how it was not too long ago. <laughs> Why did all fun things have to be taken away just because of some old season? <laughs> he wasn't going to let winter ruin his, well, ruin his winter. This little monkey was going to prove that Winter couldn't stop him from doing whatever he wanted. <laughs> really cold water can change a monkey's plans just like that. George, I'm back. I bought some of that really good hot cocoa. What are you doing? <laughs> Soaking your feet in warm water because you got a chill? <laughs> well, when it's too cold to play outside, it's hot cocoa to the rescue. <laughs> the next day felt like the coldest day of the year. <laughs> Don't forget your scarf. But George was not about to let it stop him from having fun the way he wanted to. Time for fun. George had won. He was having fun like winter had never come. <laughs> Attention, will the Antarctic research team please report to the conference room immediately? Come on, George, duty calls. <laughs> Here we are, guys, the Antarctic. Our objective is to observe and record the behavior of the region's flightless native seabirds. We're here to take pictures of penguins. <laughs> See the small family of chinstrap penguins? <laughs> well, this breed gets its name from the unique marking on its head. <laughs> we didn't see them on our last visit, and I'm worried. I need you to find them. In your gear bags, you'll find a waterproof video camera, <laughs> radio mics for talking to each other over short distances, check, and a photo of a chinstrap penguin to help you identify them. <laughs> Any questions? Um. Yes, on the left. Um, were we chosen for this mission because of our fine work in outer space and under the sea? <laughs> 
Well, not exactly. My usual team is on assignment in the Sahara Desert. Uh -huh. Oh. But you lucky guys get to meet penguins. Yes, <laughs> penguins. <laughs> George couldn't wait to meet a real penguin. Oh, this is great! Okay. I'm moving on to the nesting grounds of the emperor penguins. You'll meet us at this spot at 9 a.m., right? Right. Remember, if you get lost, use the outpost beacon to find your way back. Don't worry. If we get lost, we can always find an igloo for shelter. <laughs> no, you can't. Igloos are found in the Arctic, not in the Antarctic. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Good luck getting pictures of the penguin family. Thanks. <laughs> Let's check this side of the outpost for the penguins. <laughs> OK, but don't go too far, George. If you see penguins, call me using the radio mic. Like this. Oh, it's going to be a great day. Ah, ah. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Uh, <clears throat> um. I found a penguin. Well... It found me, but it's not a chin strap. I think it's an Adelie penguin. <laughs> that sounded close. Like something on the other side of this snow. <laughs> George had found one of the chinstrap penguin family. George was so excited, he forgot to call the man with the yellow hat. He also forgot to look where he was going. The camera was waterproof. Now George wished it would stay in one place. Reservoir cap and check the coolant level. Huh. <coughs> oh, hi, George. I told Luke and Ada I'd tune up their summer shuttle, but I can't find my pliers. Huh. <laughs> oh, right. Now, where did I put my cold drink? <laughs> Thanks, George. Hey, after I'm done with the shuttle, we can take it for a test drive to cool off, okay? Woo! Ah. Ooh. Ice. It was cold, just like snow. Ah. <laughs> Ice cubes were much bigger than snowflakes, though. Using the ice crusher, George would have something just like snow in no time. Ice water? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> City kids, 
You can't build a snowman with pieces of ice, George. You need soft, wet snow to make a snowball. Huh? These ice chips are too hard and too thick. See? Uh. Whew. Feels good. Well, back to my paper out. Thanks for the ice, George! George needed something else to make his snowman. Something that would stick together. George? Whew. Are we out of ice cubes already? Oh, here they are. You mind if I take a few? Uh, careful where you step, George. We don't want to track mud into the summer shuttle. Mud. It wasn't as cool as ice, but it was easier to mold into shapes. <laughs> now, where could George get a lot of mud? This mud was just as useless as those ice chips for making snowballs. Woo! Hey, George. Having trouble with your mud pie recipe? The perfect mud pie depends on the right mix of soil and water. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's it, George. George was on the verge of making the world's first muddy snowman, and nothing could stop him. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, George. When it comes to mud, they have the final say around here. Stay cool. On sunny, snowy days... Oh. <sighs> oh. George usually got up bright and early. <laughs> but this day, he discovered that Bill had gotten up even brighter and earlier. Hey, George! <laughs> snow blocks. I'm building a house out of snow, although the correct term is igloo. <laughs> yep. I'm trying to earn my sprout badge in winter camping. And to do that, I have to build an igloo and sleep in it overnight. Ooh. Suddenly, that was exactly what George wanted to do. Build an igloo and sleep in it. Just like Bill. <laughs> you want to help me? <laughs> And sleep in the igloo, too? Uh -huh. Why not? Let's get started. <laughs> George, that's not the proper technique. Guess I better show you. City kids probably don't know much about non-mortar construction. <laughs> See? The first thing you do is mark a circle in the snow. That's your foundation. Then you take the biggest blocks and fit them together like this. Bill showed George how to build up the igloo walls block by block making sure that the top layer overlapped the bottom. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, and when we're all done, we can just smooth out the inside. <laughs> As they built it up, the igloo started to look like a volleyball cut in half. See, we keep shaping these blocks and put them all the way around until there's just a small hole left in the center. 
And we fill that with a large block called a keystone. You have to cram it in so it'll hold the walls in place. <laughs> now, I'll just make a few air holes. And once we fill all these cracks with snow, it'll stay pretty warm. Uh. Yep, we're done. Uh -huh. Let's go check it out. Uh -huh. ooh, ooh. George was so excited. He had never been in an igloo before. The inside of the igloo was smaller than George thought. He had wanted a fun igloo. One that was big enough for a bed and a tuba and his friends. Sort of like his room, only better. You want to build your own igloo? Sure. I wish I could help you, but I gotta fill up these cracks and then do my chores. So George started on his second igloo of the day, with help from the man with the yellow cap. But this time, he built it wider. And taller. And brought in some furniture. Wow, good window. <laughs> Are you sure you want to spend the night in here, George? <laughs> Okie doke. I guess it's time to make the cocoa. Okay. Hey, George. How's it? Whoa, this is huge. You put a bed in here? <laughs> and a sofa? Oh. <laughs> wow. The only thing is, it might get cold at night. The bigger the igloo, the colder it gets. George wasn't worried. He figured he'd just wear his coat to bed. <laughs> 